How you doing? Don't need those. <clears throat> Hi. Sorry. I'm like all over the place, right? Namaste. I love you. Love and light. Changed the oil. Sweet. My dad helped me. Zeus. Yeah, it was fun. It was actually cool. We had a good time. I learned some stuff. Learned that my bolt is a 15 meter metric instead of a 13. But, anywho. My filter was a little small, but it works. And what else? Yeah, good times. I learned how to change oil. I already, I've done it before, but, you know. It's always fun to get tips from the master, right? Somebody's a mechanic. Anyway, I just wanted to do this video to explain my name change. <clears throat> I was talking to a beautiful young lady who was selling some product and um, yeah I told her about my art and she wanted to see it so I told her I have a couple videos on YouTube besides all the other ones they have a couple galleries and I realized that the hopeful wanderer is apparently a whole bunch of people so what I thought was an original name I don't know I guess it Here's the thing, I don't, what I don't understand about YouTube is how they don't, it's kind of like when you do, um, let's say, um, an email address. You can't have somebody else's email address, right? It automatically says so that's already been taken. So the fact that Hopeful Wonder was already taken and I didn't get a little heads up, so there's like freaking 100 of us. So, in honor of that, <clears throat> I have graduated. I have ascended. I've always been the emperor in training, but I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to sit my ass on the throne. I'm starting to get comfortable with it. And I didn't realize it before what I was going through this last year is the process of training. Not only do I have to tolerate other human beings and their toxic behavior and their toxic energies, but yeah, I have to love them. So I had to learn to love myself as the emperor. And on top of that, love everybody and everything from the littlest bugs. I had flies just pissing me off because they knew I couldn't kill them. Look right here. They knew it. They knew I had orders that I was, that was non, grata non, whatever they call that, you know, just Latin for off limits, hands off, right? They're coming to me later. Non gratis, gratis, or whatever. So point was, these flies knew that I couldn't fucking kill them. So they were just, I mean, they were like, I mean, hit me in the forehead, I was like, dude, really? Oh yeah, I can I'll just like brush them aside. Sorry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Those little bastards. Like I said, the guy that talk about test, right? God, that was God sending the flies. It's like just to bug the shit out of him, see if he'll kill any of them. Which I didn't. I think I smacked one a little hard, but that was that, that doesn't count. Anyway, back to the naming. Emperor of the universe. <clears throat> it's a tough gig, I'm telling you. Imagine having to love everybody, even somebody you hate everybody even that bitch that you hate everybody even old sleepy joe so you know what i mean it's not easy trust me it's not it's not an easy gig no if i tell you in the suffering you have to go through before you can get to this point no you got to suffer for like 10 years and then they're like damn he, he qualifies let's see if he'll give him a shot give him that 90-day trial right so as of today i'm the emperor of the universe done i sat my ass on the throne and i said mm, that's nice i like it I feel the power, right? But I'm going to give it back with love. And you can call me Bobby. That was my childhood name before I changed it to Robert. And I explained that in a previous video. That I, I changed my name to Robert because I realized it was on my birth certificate, for one thing. And I fell in love with my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Suzuki. She was adorable. She was married to a, a Japanese man. She was actually probably more Italian, but she was adorable. Curly hair, dark hair she was hot oh yeah Bobby had a crush and Bobby had to change his name because Rubert or Robert sounded so much more mature I was going for it I was like man if I had if I could wear platform shoes man in fourth grade I would have but you know I'm already right. it is what it is right anyway that's it Emperor of the Universe if you don't like it suck it I don't care I'm the Emperor and I still have to love you even the, even the haters I have to love. It's just, it's just for fun. Like I said, nobody wants the gig. That's why they gave it to me. Because I'm actually able to do that. Love people that most people would be like, what? 
I have to be able to put myself in the position of actually being able to empathize with people. I'd have to empathize with the unempathizable, you know. I have to just, I have to be able to defend the indefensible. That would be the best way to put it. As the emperor of the universe, you have to be a defense lawyer to all the scumbags in the world. There was a baby in there somewhere once, right, that somebody just fucked up and they were on. So my job is to try to love them again and to heal their hearts. That's part of the emperor's gig too. I have to heal hearts. So, and I'm just starting. I just realized my power. I just realized why I've changed my name because I have to get into the thick of it. I'm about to go into the lion's den as far as like social. I'm going to be surrounded by millions of human beings in a tight knit area for a minute. And I'm going to have to absorb that and I'm going to have to radiate it back hard in a positive way. It's going to be fun. I'm up to the challenge. I'm ready to do it. No, it sounds crazy, but hey, are you, have you looked around? Have you like watched the news? Have you, you really? No, nothing I've said is crazy today. It's just badass. Let's see where it goes. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And as the emperor of the universe, I'm telling you, the universe digs the hell out of you. So have a wonderful day. Love you.